Her Highness uh, Ms. Abdulaziz bin Salman, uh, Minister of Energy of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and Chairman of the OPEC and non-OPEC Ministerial Conference, may I respectfully invite you to declare the ninth extraordinary meeting open. Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, Mohammed. I don't want to spend a lot of uh, your valuable time, especially that uh, we are uh, experimenting with a new trial, which uh, uh, hopefully if, we, if it's uh, going to be successful, we can always uh, use technology to uh, enable us to be somewhat uh, working to, uh, together uh, in a, a quite regular uh, basis. What, uh, what I want to also make sure of is the uh, uh, is the uh, importance of this uh, meeting and uh, uh, the importance of this gathering. I know that we are joined by a few of our colleagues who are not the uh, uh, OPEC plus uh, countries. And uh, I would like to, uh, as I do, welcome you all. I would also welcome those who are uh, uh, attending for the sake of uh, being uh, aware of what's going on and uh, have uh, discharged to me and uh, the co-chair their uh, willingness to, uh, to take part of this meeting and also to uh, to discharge any uh, potential uh, commitments that they may uh, be able to uh, extend to this uh, endeavor and to this effort. I, uh, I want to make sure also that, uh, uh, although I'm sure that all of you are, are uh, uh, quite uh, aware of uh, what's going on. I think we all feel it. We all are uh, reaching out to each other to ensure that we attend to this situation in the most elaborate possible way. So without much ado, I would like to give the floor to my uh, friend and uh, colleague, uh, the Minister of uh, Russia, Federal Government of Russia, Alexander Novak, and then uh, I will give then the floor to His Excellency Secretary General, uh, our mutual friend, uh, Mohammed Burkin. So please, Alexander. Спасибо большое, уважаемые председатели, уважаемые коллеги. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, colleagues. And I would love to welcome and greet all the members of the conference. How uh, uh, before I begin, please allow me to greet and congratulate and say thank you to the Royal Highness, uh, the Excellency of Brazil, and Sarman Rasabu, with whom we have spent very intense, uh, very intense days uh, during the past few weeks discussing uh, the current market situation and what is stabilized. And of course, I would also like to thank him and His Excellency Secretary General of Mr. Bartindo, for organizing the conference. Помимо традиционной встречи нашей в рамках стран ОПЕК Плюс, я хотел бы сегодня также поприветствовать наших других коллег, которые принимают участие в видеоконференции, коллег из Канады, Норвегии, Египта, Аргентины, Колумбии, Индонезии, Чада, Эквадора, Тринадцатого Баба. 
besides the traditional members of the Open Plus format with whom we, are, we have spent the past few years discussing uh, role model developments and who want to continue doing so, I would also like to greet new, uh, new, member, new participants in this discussion and countries we've decided to observe today's meeting, which include Egypt, Argentina, Colombia, Indonesia, Chad, Ecuador, Trinidad, Tobago, Norway, and Canada. Очевидно, как я сказал, также господин председатель, мы все прекрасно понимаем, что ситуация, которая сегодня находится в мире, в решении экономической ситуации, в виду распространения коронавируса, которая влияет на все сферы экономики, в том числе и на нашу национальную область. As uh, Azerbaijan's chairman has noted, it is obvious that the coronavirus spread over the world is affecting the whole global economy and having an especially acute impact on our society. Мы, мы, конечно, видим, что изменилась, существенно замедлилась экономическая активность, изменение в центральных ходах около 4 миллиардов человек, в настоящее время самоизоляции, что, конечно же, серьезно повлияло на активность, на передвижение и, соответственно, на спроса в мире на мир. Has experienced a significant slowdown. Experts estimate that almost 4 billion people, so the staff of the global population, is currently getting thrown into the lockdown, and that, of course, has affected mobility, uh, the way people move around and demand uh, for energy. This has affected you know, significantly demand for oil products, uh, for everything. We are currently seeing a decline in global oil demand by 10 to 15 million barrels per day, and uh, that number to go in the near future. We are of course also worried about the negative dynamics uh, of the battery bills in the world, which in the very near future could lead to uh, overstocking and dire consequences for all of such a situation calls for decisive and immediate action by major global producers in the reversing the situation and saving the market. Uh, we are well aware that the uh, President of the Russian Federation, Mr. Putin, has expressed his opinion and stated that we all need to take maximum effort to reach uh, and uh, sustain long term stability of the oil market, forming an efficient equilibrium of demand and supply for the benefit of both consumers and producers. И в этой ситуации мы считаем оправданным увеличение количества стран, которые могут принять участие в объединении усилий по стабилизации ситуации в мире на рынке. Мы еще раз приветствуем сегодня участие наших коллег, которые ранее не участвовали в соглашениях по первой that is why we believe, believe that it is justified that the number of countries participating in this effort must expand. That is why we are especially glad to see our new countries present here as observers uh, contributing, contributing their wisdom and their participation uh, to global efforts to stabilize the market. It should be sent to the constructive work and to the success of the success only with the stability of the success of the I would like to wish everybody present here a productive and fruitful discussion and deliberations in order to be able to arrive at decisive solutions and conclusions as well said. Only together can we solve the problems which we are standing for. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Marvin. We have a serious problem with. Uh, with the 
maybe there is so much echo in your uh, side, uh, I don't know, but if you can try to get your technicians to work with ours uh, and the secretariat, uh, just to make sure that uh, we overcome this uh, technical uh, issue. May I uh, give uh, the floor to His Excellency Mohammed Arkab, the President of the Republic? Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, I Mr. Arkab. Algeria, can you hear us? Hello? Assalamu alaikum. From Algeria. Yes, it's okay? Yes, it's okay. It's good. Okay, thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sahib al-Subhul al-Malaki, Ashab al-Ma'ali wa-Sa'ada, Ayyatu al-Sayyidat, Ayyu al-Sada, Tahiyya tayyiba min al-Jazair. Innahu la min dawa'i sururi an urahib bikum jami'an bi jami'a wa-asa al-Wufud fi hadha al-Ijtima' al-Wuzari al-Tasa' al-Istitna'i il-Uper wa ghayri al-Uper. Your Royal Highness, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, warm greetings from Algeria. It is my pleasure to welcome all heads of delegation to this night extraordinary OPEC and non-OPEC ministerial meeting. نتواجد اليوم في قلب في قلب مأساة إنسانية ربما لم نشهد لها مثيل منذ أكثر من قرن وباء الكورونا فيروس مس تقريبا كل ركن من أركان الأرض والناس يعانون لا سيما أفقرهم. يحز في قلوبنا صور المستشفيات المؤقتة التي تم بناؤها في الحدائق ومواقف السيارات حول العالم من أجل التكفل بالعديد بالعدد المتزايد من المرضى. We are in the midst of a human tragedy on a scale perhaps not seen since more than a century. The COVID-19 pandemic has reached almost every corner of the planet. People are suffering and especially the poorest ones. Our hearts are pierced by the images of the makeshift hospitals around the world that have been built to cope with the mounting number of patients. نصلي من أجل الجميع المتضررين من هذه الأزمة كي يتمثلوا الشفاء والراحة إن شاء الله خلال هذه الفترة العصيبة. We pray for all those adversely impacted by this crisis. May they receive healing and comfort in their time of need. بالإضافة إلى الخسائر البشرية. ألحقت هذه الأزمة أضرارا كبيرة بالاقتصاد العالمي وبالتالي بالسوق النفط العالمية منذ اجتماعنا الأخير في شهر مارس انتشرت جائحة كوفيد 19 في جميع أنحاء العالم مما أدى إلى شن الاقتصاد العالمي شيئا فشيئا الدول والمواطنون حول العالم يعانون عواقب آثار الاقتصادية لهذا الوباء in addition to a human toll, this crisis has inflicted major damage in, on the world economy and, by extension, the global oil market. Since our last meeting in March, the COVID-19 pandemic has proliferated around the world, slowly and steadily paralyzing the global economy. Countries and citizens around the world are suffering the consequences of the economic impacts. كما أنه أثر على السوق النفطية بشكل غير مسبوق إن تدمير الطلب على النفط على نطاق واسع وما ينتج عنه من اختلال كبير في التوازن بين العرض والطلب يمكن أن يؤدي إلى تعبئة سريعة في سعة التخزين العالمية ويتسبب في وقف الإنتاج إن التأثير السلبي على عائدات البلدان المصدرة للنفط الهائل 
في الوقت تواجه فيه هذه البلدان مأساة إنسانية بسبب وباء, وباء كورونا فيروس وتراجع الاقتصاد الناجم عنه. The impact on the oil market is also unprecedented. Large-scale oil demand destruction and the resulting massive supply and demand imbalance have the potential to fill global storage capacity quickly and force production shutdowns. The adverse impact on oil exporting country revenues is huge. At a time when these countries are facing the human tragedy of the COVID-19 pandemic and the resulting economic downturn. Shumul Abir, Ashab al-Ma'ali wa Sa'ala. نحن عند نقطة تحول حاسمة حيث يتوجب اتخاذ إجراءات إن سوق النفط في حالة سقوط حر لا يمكن تحمله ويعتبر هذا الاجتماع الطارئ فرصة لاتخاذ إجراءات حاسمة وفورية إن الأنظار العالم متجهة إلى هذا التجمع الكبير من المنتجين من أجل تقديم القيادة الرشيدة في أوقات الأزمات are at a critical turning point where action is required. The oil market is in unsustainable free fall. This emergency meeting should be an opportunity for decisive and immediate action. The world's eyes are on this large gathering of producers who provide visionary leadership at a time of crisis. يوجه اجتماعنا اليوم رسالة واضحة للسوق العالمية مفادها أننا نأخذ هذا الظروف هذا هذا الظرف على محمل الجد. ونتحكم قدما بشكل استباقي ومسؤول بإيجاد حلول بناءة وفعالة وذات مصداقية لإعادة التوازن في السوق النفط العالمية. Our meeting here today sends a clear message to the global market that we are taking this situation seriously and moving forward proactively and responsibly to find constructive, effective, and credible solutions to rebalance the global oil markets. إنه اجتماع تاريخي. إنها فرصة للتعاون متعددة الأطراف المرونة والشمولية خلال هذه الأوقات الصعبة وعلينا اليوم أن نعمل بسرعة وحزم بتضامن ووحدة راسخين من أجل صالح المنتجين والمستهلكين والاقتصاد العالمي والأجيال القادمة. This is a historical meeting. It is an opportunity for multilateral collaboration. Flexibility and inclusiveness in these challenging times. We must act today quickly and decisively in firm solidarity and unity in the interest of producers, consumers, the global economy, and future generations. Shukran ala karam al isra. Thank you for your attention. Shukran maali. Shukran ala taqiyal jazairi ya kan sot kum mesbuh. Shukran. Al. Can I give the floor now to uh, our uh, mutual friend, uh, Mr. Burkandu? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, may I refer you, Mr. Chairman, may I refer you to the list of uh, heads of delegations who would like to take the floor? Uh, you may wish to uh, recognize them first. Thank you. I will, uh, I will be present for the urgency of the uh, uh, matter, and uh, I'm just thinking loud. I'm not in any way acting in a predatory uh, way. I certainly uh, owe everybody the right to, to have the floor, but for the sake of uh, uh, confining the discussions uh, into what may be held to the market, uh, uh, we, we better move discussing the, the real issues because time is of the essence. The shorter, the more decisive the speed the speeding is, the better it is for all of us. So uh, without pre uh, without much ado, I hope that uh, my colleagues here and my friends can agree uh, that we go for a very short introduction uh, uh, from uh, Mr. Burkando, and then I believe the Secretariat has a, a presentation uh, to show uh, uh, it uh, before us. I hope this is agreeable to everybody. Those who agree with that can just raise your hand. Okay. 
I even get a thumb up. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Chairman, let me begin by, on behalf of the Secretariat, to uh, commend you for initiating uh, this historic uh, meeting and join the President of the Conference, Mohammed Arkab, in wishing you and all participating countries a very successful meeting. Over the course of the last couple of months, as just elaborated by Mohammed Arkab, COVID-19 has pervaded almost every aspect of human life. We see it in the lockdowns initiated by our governments across the world, the widespread travel restrictions, business and industry shutdowns, school closures, social distancing measures. One could go on and on and on. COVID-19, as just mentioned by Mohammed Arkab, is a human tragedy of historic proportions that seems to be impacting everything in its path. First and foremost, Mr. Chairman, this comes in the tragic loss of human life. Our thoughts and prayers go out to all those that are affected. Coming back to the oil market, it has completely upended market supply and demand fundamentals since we last met in Vienna on the 6th of March. Even in the first week of March, the outlook looked relatively bleak, but in just over one month, Mr. Chairman, it has changed beyond all recognition. The supply and demand fundamentals are horrifying. The expected excess supply volumes on the market, particularly in the second quarter, are beyond anything we have seen before. Our industry, Mr. Chairman, is hemorrhaging. No one has been able to stem the bleeding. We are already seeing some production shut-ins, companies filing for bankruptcy, and tens of thousands of jobs are being lost. The data and analysis presented and deliberated on today underscores the scale of the massive challenge before us, Mr. Chairman. Only one month ago in Vienna, expected 2020 global GDP growth was at 2.4%. Today, it is a negative 1.1%. It is incredible to think that global contraction is far greater than that for the Great Recession in 2008 and 2009. Mr. Chairman, if you recall, in early March, expected 2020 global oil demand growth was just below 0 0.1 million barrels a day. Today, we are looking at a contraction of nearly 7 million barrels a day, and still counting. With the second quarter alone, close to about 12 million barrels a day and still expanding. These are staggering numbers, unprecedented in modern times. The outlook for non-OPEC supply, Mr. Chairman, in 2020 has also fallen by over 1.5 million barrels a day, although this is nowhere near the drop for the oil demand. The OPEC reference basket has fallen by around 70%. We are all now seeing significant less revenue coming into our national treasuries. This evidently has major consequences with the limits of the market being tested on many fronts. Mr. Chairman, we are likely to see further breaches in logistical capacity for ships, pipelines, terminals, and processing units. And it is clear that available storage capacity is quickly filling up. To put this, Mr. Chairman, in some context, our assessment of available global oil storage capacity stands over 1 billion barrels. 
Given the current unprecedented supply and demand imbalance, there could be a colossal excess volume of around 15 million barrels a day in the second quarter of this year. This oversupply would add a further 1.3 billion barrels to global crude oil stocks and hence exhaust the available global crude oil storage capacity within the month of May. There is a grisly shadow hanging over all of us. We do not want this shadow to envelop us. It will have a crushing and long-term impact on the entire industry. It is not just oil, Mr. Chairman. The situation is negatively impacting on all commodities, metals, minerals, stocks, and financial markets. These difficult times require flexibility and commitment on all of us. Commitment and shared responsibility is part and parcel of the history of the Declaration of Cooperation. We have always been proactive and proportional, responsible and responsive, thorough and thoughtful. Mr. Chairman, with your permission, I call on all producers here today to look at the market outlook we present and stand shoulder to shoulder to help this vital global industry survive this historic downturn. For the current quarter, around 20% of global oil consumption has evaporated, and this huge market imbalance needs to be urgently addressed. I would like to leave you, Mr. Chairman, with a line from William Shakespeare when he said, let me embrace thee, sour adversity, for wise men say it is the wisest cause. With the huge challenge before us, therefore, and in this increasingly complex and interdependent world, we count on the spirit of togetherness and the enduring timelessness of the principles of international cooperation, driven by inclusiveness and mutual respect among all nations gathered here today to guide us through this demanding period. Mr. Chairman, with your permission, may I invite my colleague, Dr. Ayr al Kathani, our Director of Research, to share with us a couple of slides to further elaborate this grim outlook.